Welcome and hello to our HDS How To video, how to set up a floating license server. For this training movie, you will need the client license management system. For the activation, update and return of licenses, a connection to the internet is required. The CLM is a tool to serve and administer licenses on a single PC or in a network. It provides advanced functionality to activate, manage and borrow licenses. Leica HDS software only uses floating licenses. This means they are activated on a dedicated license server, but can be used by various clients within the network. They can also be borrowed for offline usage. Installation of CLM the CLM must be installed on the license server and on the PCs running the Leica HDS software. The installation on the clients usually happens as an additional step during the standard installation process of Cyclone or Cloudworks. To install the CLM only on the server, run the respective install shield from the dependency folder contained in the Cyclone setup. Run the installer using the Run as Administrator option or download it from the Leica Geosystems MyWorld Information Portal. Note that when installing CLM, it uses Windows services, and by default the ports 27000 to 27010, as well as 19701. Ensure that this does not conflict with any other installed software. Overview of the CLM interface. Launch CLM on the license server from the Start menu. It is in the Leica Geosystems folder. Start the CLM for floating licenses. In the left part of the window, you can choose the section of the CLM to be shown. First, check out which licenses are installed by clicking View Install Licenses. Different views are available. By default, the Entitlements view is active. It provides a compact overview of all activated licenses. The term Entitlement ID or EID is used for a license key for a specific product. In this case, three entitlements are activated. Open the tree structure by pressing the triangle symbol. Now you can see which features are contained in the EID. Depending on the software product, different features are available. Go to the Features view to get an EID independent overview over the available license features. Here you can see line-wise which features are available and how many of each. You can also check the maintenance status of a license. The feature version date defines the latest release date of a major release of a client software that can be licensed with this feature. The first and second software version numbers name major releases, for example Cyclone 9 and 9.1. Cyclone 9.1.1 is a minor release and can be licensed in the same way as Cyclone 9.1. In case of a permanent license, any previously released software can be used without time limit. Any time limited licenses are invalid the day after the expiration date. Having reviewed all available licenses, let us now see how to activate a new one. The entitlement IDs for your ordered products are delivered to you typically in your invoice or with an entitlement certificate. From there, you can simply copy-paste them into the CLM. Click Activate New Licenses in the navigation bar. Enter the entitlement number into the field Entitlement IDs. Select Check for Activatable Licenses. In the next view, the content of the EID is listed. Leave all checkmarks in place, then select Activate New Licenses. For this part, an internet connection is required to access Leica's central server. If the activation was successful, the next view lists the new license. Switch back to View Installed Licenses and the Entitlement view to verify the new license is displayed here. License Update Activating additionally purchased software options or a software maintenance requires an update of already activated licenses. Press Verify License to invoke a connection to Leica's license server and check for possible updates. 
If there are any, they will be listed. Proceed with selecting Newly Activatable Licenses. In this case, an update to a maintenance contract for the Cyclone Publisher license has been purchased. Activate the updates by selecting Activate New Licenses. Note that now the feature version date has been updated. To serve the activated licenses locally or in the network, the license server must of course be running. Check its status under Manage License Server. Here the software reports that the server is running correctly. You can stop the server by pressing Stop. A stopped server can be started again by pressing Start. Refresh simply updates this view of the server status. Please keep in mind that Windows services can take a while to load after the system start. Therefore, the licensing service might not be immediately active. Wait one or two minutes after booting for the service to start normally. Now let us have a look at the Options section. The URL fields must not be changed as they define the link to Leica's license server. If a proxy server is used in the local network, enter the proxy credentials here. Keep Connect Remotely to CLM Service unchecked. It is not used in a local network environment. Press Apply to save possible changes. Now your CLM is configured and ready to serve floating licenses in the local network. To finish this tutorial, we will now look at how to return an activated license. This becomes necessary when changing the dedicated license server. Close all client software and then start the CLM. Go to the View Installed Licenses tab. Make sure the Entitlements view is active. Open the tree structure to verify that you are looking at the correct EID. Check the top hierarchy checkbox of all EIDs to be returned and then press Return Licenses Rehost. The next window will summarize all selected items. Confirm by pressing Continue. Now the software will return all selected entitlements to the Leica Geo system server. Once done, click on Back to install licenses to check whether the license was returned successfully. This entitlement ID can now be activated again on another PC. Note that a rehost only needs to be performed in case of a license server change. To share licenses with other clients within your network, simply have them check out the license. Or if you need to use the licenses offline, meaning outside your network, use the CLM's borrowing option. To learn more about these two workflows, please have a look at our respective video tutorials. How to use a floating license and how to borrow a license.